This is a story about how a blind person and a deaf person uh, survived a night with um, a demon. Tenali Ramalinga. This is a story where we find out how he got the name. So Tenali Ramalingam, he got the name Tenali because he was born in the place Tenali. That's how he got the name Tenali Ramalingam. But how did he get famous and what was what were his beginning steps? So apparently when he was a young child, he was like super naughty. He was always giving nicknames, he was always getting into trouble and he was always getting other kids and people into trouble. So one day a sage who was going by, he saw Ramalingam and he could see past his mischief that, you know, um, he had some kind of, uh, I don't know, virtue or something in his face. So he called the boy close to him and, uh, to, and, and uh, preached him a mantra and told him to go to Kalika Devi temple and uh, and chant it like a thousand times and then Kalika Devi will you know uh, uh, appear in front of him and give him whatever he wants um, and then the sage left so Ramalingam he remembered the mantra and one fine day I mean one fine day but on the night time he went into the Kalika Devi temple and he chanted the mantra a thousand times and then Kalika Devi she appeared in front of him with a thousand heads and um, instead of getting scared uh, Ramalingam thought of something else and he couldn't stop laughing he just burst into laughter he just kept laughing and then uh, Kalika Devi was like hey boy why are you laughing at me what's so funny um, and so and, and then um, then Ali Ramalinga was like, oh, mother, no, uh, I, uh, I am so sorry. Um, I, I just had this thought that, you know, we are human beings. We have two hands and one nose. And when we get a cold, it's two hands are not enough to like clean our noses. And you got a thousand heads and, and two hands. So I was wondering how you would clean all your noses with two hands. So I couldn't help laughing. Uh, hearing this, uh, Kalika Devi also, uh, you know, agreed and she was like, yes, this is something to, yeah, this is something to think about and this is a, a laughable thing. Uh, and then she was like, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm going to, uh, you know, give you a boon uh, that you're going to become famous as a Vikata Kavi. So basically, Kavi means a poet. Vikata means a um, is not a traditional poet. Uh, he's um, like a really um, untraditional one, but not a, but a very 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 funny one. And uh, traditional poets uh, poets are not usually funny. They're like very straightforward, very very um, traditional, very well put together. Um, so that's what she meant. Um, and uh, Ramakrishna was like, oh wow, this is Vikata Kavi. This is a, this is a Telugu palindrome. A anywhere a anyhow you read it it's it's Vikatakavi so he was like thank you so much for like the, you know such a lovely name I'll be famous as a Vikatakavi and she was like no 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 that's not enough you need you need a boon so I'm gonna give you a boon that you're going to be become famous as a Vikatakavi in a king's court and nobody will be able to you know uh, put together a poem like you can um, and that was the beginning of his um, life as a Vikita Kavi and he does become famous as a Vikita Kavi. Uh, he ends up um, writing uh, two poems and poems are uh, uh, poems in the sense like they're not like one page poems like two page poems they're like a book of poems like they're they're huge. Um, so one he writes is like you know Udbhataradya Charitra and Panduranga Mahatyam. These are the two uh, poems he, um, he writes. Um, and, and there are more stories coming um, that are going to be super silly and super funny, uh, but mostly intelligent. So wait for them. <laughs>